And uh, let's walk through, if you could, for investors so they understand um, how you think you get there. And when I say get there, I'm talking about profitability. Well, as we made through our way in 2019, we became more and more confident of the strength of our business and the ability of our teams to execute. And if you look at a rides business, for example, in 2019, for every dollar of revenue growth that the rides business achieved, they dropped about 80 cents to the bottom line. So this is a business that as it grows can become quite profitable. And for 2020, we got together as a team and said, you know what, we can do the same thing, not just for the rides business, but for the whole business. So if you look at our plan for 2020, for every dollar of revenue growth, especially right. from Q4 to Q4, we expect to drop 50 cents to 55 cents to the bottom line. We think that's absolutely doable to get to profitability by Q4, but at the same time make the kinds of investments that we want to make to keep a high growth rate for many years going I want to forward. talk about those other investments in a second because yeah, that's, sure. that's going to be an issue or at least a question mark uh, in terms of how you get there. But in terms of uh, the rideshare business itself, you've talked about pricing mm -hmm. and increasing pricing. And one of the questions I think that investors have is about your ability to grow, what the total addressable market looks like, especially if you increase prices, meaning doesn't the market itself shrink in terms of what's available in the future? Yeah, so I think there are different ways of increasing pricing. There's certainly some pricing power that we have in the mainline service because it's a service that people use every day and frankly it's a service that's very well priced and and it's a great service so we do see some pricing power there as well but there are different ways of increasing pricing so for example going after the premium segment our u for b business now has a run rate of over 1.2 billion dollars growing over 50 percent year on year we're getting into uber for health growing right. over 300 percent so that's a way of increasing the average price of the service, but really going after a more premium customer. Okay, you know I'm cheap. So when I get in a Uber X, is the price going to go up on me? Is that what's happening here? The price on average in New York is going up because of some of the TLC moves that they've made, not right. necessarily because of our pricing. So New York City prices are up. Uh, it's not something that we necessarily like, but it is something that... I feel like the battle between you and Lyft, at least in New York right now, I'm not getting the promotional pricing anymore. Well, I think that... Sad for me, maybe good for you. Um, you know, hopefully good for all of us. Right. I do think that the era of only pricing to win business is over. And I think it's leading to the era of actually having a great service. Innovating, for example, for us on safety, making sure that every single time you right. take Uber, you've got your safety uh, area, you can uh, text 911 if anything right. happens, you can have someone track your ride. We think you should price based on service, not price just a discount.